It scales a lot. It's one of those things you don't really think about, but it's like 20, 30, 40, 50 based on your quads. I don't know. You see it, it sometimes. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Plus, you used to, you know, get two all the time, right? Back in the day. Now you need a talent. Wait, I, I do like Shadow Demon Centaur. Oh my that, god, that he's got the Exhort, guys. Perfect. As you did as you did mention, that's a great lane Sound combo. Did strategy. you really? First point Exhort? Oh, First point god. Exhort. We're in there. Oh, I'm, I'm ready to watch it. I'm very ready to watch it. I'm watching this be... mid-matchup, dude. All right, yeah. you can look at the side lanes. I so, will sorry, tear bud, you've been you relegated. apart! <laughs> I mean, let's talk about, like, the, in terms of the mid-game, we like the Exhort 100%, right? We want Sunstrike. Sunstrike's great. I think it synergizes well with what they have. You got lasso setups. You got the uh, shadow demon into centaur stun. Like, and I, I also just think they need the damage. Well, the other wow, man, what was the team that used to do this? God, I can't remember. I want uh, was it Power Rangers? I don't know. Some team used to pick the same trio of centaur warrior, shadow demon, and invoker. It was some CIS team, and they ran it all the time. And it just like the centaur would get blink, and that would just be it. He would just blink, stomp, double edge, sun strike, and everyone's just dying like over and over again. More, more than one team that was doing that uh, back in the heyday of invokers. Yeehaw! That's true. But uh, it's probably one team that's like constantly oh, don't doing Don't mind it. me. Just a wee fairy going about little her battle business. in the jungle here. Don't mind me. Just a little wee fairy. Is Seneko okay? I think the sticky might help keep him alive. Saber light here, but now that Stun Saber light, the Centaur hasn't skilled anything up yet. He's not very scary, and that's a first blood. Yamich will grab it. Now they might even get a second. A disaster for NIP to get this started. The Chikiro does connect with another team wrestler. And that is a dead Senenko. 2-0 for Spirit out of the gate. Imagine being a Dark Willow with a double kill at the start of the game. She already has boots, and now she's going to have two clarities, a stick, and tangos, and she still has enough gold for a salve after. Oh, my God. Still went uh, two for two on the bounties. But yeah, obvious advantage for this Radiant squad. Show them, prove them wrong, Supreme. Show us this Exhort Invoker power. Punch that Ergon Queen of Pain. Is it a matchup thing? Like, is this, I don't think. Is this good against Queen of Pain in particular? I mean, somehow? if anything, Radiant's historically, she was one of the killed. harder ones that you really relied on a lot of the, uh, the regen the, the and the... The Wax, yeah. yeah. Just like, you know, it's just a more survival build. And obviously, she's a very offensive opponent. Well, Quap is uh, rolling this first wave. Let's see if Supreme can grab these. Come along, okay. my level one Forge Spirit that gets four shot by Queen of Pain. Big deny. All right. Did Bubbles she right click it twice? That's insane. Well, don't worry. It's going to expire in about three seconds. So no harm done. I don't know. I mean, so far, at least, Ergon hasn't really been able to pressure him all too much. Hasn't yeah. leveled up the Shadow Strike yet. Level three now. Oh, 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 my my just just a <laughs> That's an annoying ass voice line. <laughs> yeah, not quite double dagger. So she's not even contesting the uh, the, the HP of the invoker. I wonder if it's because she wants the scream to clear the uh, the force barrier. I wonder if that's a mistake. Because now she, it feels like she can't pressure him, and Supreme can actually just trade with her. I well, the whole... force barrier does have a pretty long cooldown, right? Like thirty seconds. So it might it might get better. But yeah, the other lanes are not being watched right now. I don't care. <laughs> uh, well, we have a moment here. We have a new call up, bud. Got to reconnect. I took the sec, the third one. Oh, do we? Okay. You're ready to have some fun, Jakiro. You took the I second took, one, you said? I took the third. I took the bottom one. Okay. Sorry, folks. Trying to adjust the old uh, Zayori cam. Like my connection's been finding it. I actually think it might be that it's a European-based server. And that's why you're good, but I'm not, because attack. you're a little closer to Europe than I am. Yeah. A lot closer, as it turns out. Look right, at Matt the test. other day. Hello, welcome back. I mean, hey. they are hey. here during that, right? So. Only Dota TV could. 
Yeah, so that's the bottom. Okay. They are committed to this try lane, and Saber White might fall victim. He does. Team Spirit get another kill. Misha this time getting credit. So, meanwhile, in the top lane, Malik in kind of an odd position. Does not have mana for a TP, though he does have the stick and a mango. Should be fine here. <laughs> Six stacks. Now Sineko's like, man, that was a lot of work. I'm uh, watching Ergon just roll like one damage off on some of these lasses. So I just feel the frustration. <laughs> like miss the range creep by the just roll. That, that would be really frustrating. I have to say, especially in a matchup where you I feel like this shouldn't be expecting. working. I mean, she is winning it, but it's, you know, it's not a disaster. No, oh, certainly not. How about, I'd like to see her pressure a little bit here. I mean, conventional logic, everything that we've been told by folks way more experienced with Invoker than ourselves is that at this stage, the Invoker should be suffering. With Queen of Pain, you should be able to abuse him a bit more if he's Exhort. And now bottom again, they'll go in on the Saber Light. Only level three. DK does not have a Dragon Tail, but they got plenty of damage. Now the Sunstrike comes in and connects. Oh, even a little bit late and still got it. Yamish down. First Sunstrike kill is up. That was... Perfect. That is the other thing, too. I, I think this Exhort build is risky in the sense if you don't find the Exhort or the Sunstrike kills, I All don't know if this is fall. worth it. Yeah, but it's also the only way this lineup works. Yeah, that's... Like, I don't, I don't know if you want to be Quaswex roaming around and just, like, adding more control and team fight you. They just straight up need damage because they don't really have a hard one. Haste! What? Oh, he was going to go deny her bounty run. That's pretty funny. Well, he's definitely been spamming the uh, the Exor Invoker to, like, be bad ahead on a play like that. You know what I mean? Like, he's definitely been yeah. playing it a lot. Well, I don't think we necessarily question his skills on Invoker as much as the meta aspect of the viability. Certainly don't think it's a player issue. No, no seems, seems great now, though. I mean, what, well, how much damage are we at? Oh, I love Exor Invoker. So fun to watch. So we got, uh, how much does it jack up by? Like 60, right, per level? What yeah, 60, 60 inch per level of the sun, the uh, sun strike. So currently it's at 225. That's pretty sizable. How many points we got double? It's just one. Don't have Soul Catcher yet, so we're, we're not quite there with their little combo and as they jump on Saber Light again. This safe lane try has been working out so well. He's going to try to TP, but he won't be able to make it in time. That is the double whammy. You still die, and your TP's on cooldown, so you got to walk back to lane. Dare I say, they are crippling this Centaur right now. Meanwhile, up top, Malik not having an amazing lane, but hasn't died yet. Still found 17 last hits. Mid lane, Era. Nice deny from Supreme. Very good. Now looking for some pressure on the Ergon. So Era left bottom, and that resulted in the kill of Saberlight, but it was also to deny out that illusion rune. So again, helping so this invoker good. stay relevant in the mid lane. And uh, it takes a little bit of a team effort, but definitely worth it, because now Ergon's at half HP and mana and doesn't have a, a room to use to right now. So keeping Supreme happy. <laughs> have not, I have actually not even clicked top this whole game. So 36 and 15 to the 17 and 3. Looks like a bit of a, a rough Dire time here structures for our uh, Legion commander. She's almost getting, like, doubled up on. Well, uh, if you're the top centaur, tower she's still is doing under fine. Attack. <laughs> Fair enough. It was a 2v1 lane for uh, most of it, at least. I mean, are there many other heroes that could have even done this well, given the matchup? No, you have to no, be able to handle not. the bat. No. And then also see us against the DP. So it's tough. I'll give you that one. The net worth breakdown is weird for both teams. It's like your one and your two are doing great. Everyone else is getting pretty crippled. <laughs> no, look at Malik now, though. <laughs> he had no win. If he stops to uh, to purge himself, then he's just going to die to the bat rider anyway. That's a good rotation, though. Sure says, is. yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> and meanwhile, on the bottom, Spirit are grouped up as three, using this DK alongside the Siege Creek. Radiance middle Always tower feels good when you've got that attack. third point in Dragon Blood, and you just want to tank the tower as the DK. More than enough HP to do this. Stuns him up, trying to Dyer's stop the deny. The tower will fall away. Right. TP coming in from the Invoker. Game. Might get put down. The meteor flies from the heavens, and Duratio down low. Stick, not enough. It's finished off. Supreme's right clicks. They are. 
Now you've got a Wex too for the alacrity. Pretty nice. Like Dyer's gets rid of early tower. meteor Sunday too. I, I like this. Exhort and Boker. <laughs> Maybe not completely dead yet. Invisibility. Invis Ergon well. though here. No sonic wave, but still quite a bit of damage to the four points in the scream. Looking for Saber Light. Oh man, he's so low. I guess Ergon's okay, just to leech a little XP here. Or Soak. Have it worked? Get this kill? I think so. They need dust. Okay, not without detection. I mean, it's only a level three Dark Willow. Like, I don't. The brave play. And look, look how close Saber Light was and how low he is. <laughs> it's just like a tiny bit away there, farming the neutrals. His life flashed before his eyes. Yeah. It's been Radiant a tough series for Saber Light. Game one, he got sacrificed a little bit, and here in game two, Radiant's middle it's not looking under much attack. better. He's a pretty gimpy centaur. He had to go for that ring of Tarrasque early. Still no boots at nine minutes. Feels rough. Centaur does not like support status, I'll tell you what. Well, uh, the support bat rider is going okay. Alexanego has decent enough levels that if they can hold an outpost, and he's going to be pretty close to level six soon enough. And they will take back their own jungle one now. But a lot of reading heroes up here with 30 seconds to go. They could think about contesting. And Dyer's they are pinging it. Do they have the attack. Sonic Wave? Yes, they do. Four seconds. This is good timing now for Team Spirit. How much of a defense will they mount from NIP? Dyer's oh, Bergon face checks the high ground. Dyer's he still does not have silence. Oh, Radiant's well, bottom tower this. is under dicey. attack. There's actually nothing you can do here. Let's see the disruption. There you go. Zaneko's out of fire. Walks into a bramble. A lucky fire. Great show. You okay? I think you should be able to right click an outpost as well and stop a channel. Dyer's top tower you know I mean? is under attack. Ah, so you counteract it. So if you're both channeling, you just stand yeah, there. Yeah, like if you don't have other. a stun. It's kind, of, it's kind of lame when you're a stunless hero when someone just does that to you. Although that might be too good. Maybe you 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 need two people to equal Dyer's one. Top 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 is under attack. So you can sure, slow him man. down taking it. If you can just straight up block him out, you're just standing there countering each other. That's kind of cheesy too. Well, obviously you're holding the territory though, if that's working. Yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't mind something like that though. You can at least click it to try and slow him down to buy time for your stun to get there. Something. Or you could just draft stuns. I don't know. Yeah, that's I mean, that's a pretty good solution, too. I'm into that. Misha, level six and a half on this Jakiro. And look at that, that damage over time when you leave Ooh. the macro pyre. Oh, but look out. Bat's coming back. He's like, the mat. Mat. Wait a second. It's only two seconds of sticky time. Now Supreme's here. Fit for a queen. Stand that's five stacks. But Ergon yeah. also rotates. He both will finish off the mission. Easy kill there. And they, they actually get that Radiant's right bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Did cost them top, though. Well, how is our little Exorn Invoker strat going then? Are we, uh, are we digging this? Radiant's hey. bottom tower Thoughts? is under attack. Oh, another one? Wait, wait. wait. Commitment, but maybe they'll transition this into a tier one tower push for Charlie. No stampede. Radiant oh, structures man, they still don't have a blink fortified. dagger, so it's hard to make use of the sunstrike right now. Dyer's structures are fortified. Double null drums for Supreme. Turning him into the, the hard carry this game. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. They sure are. And this is the upside of uh, Exarch Invoker. You do right-click pretty hard, especially with Alacrity on in these fights. I mean, he basically has the DD when he has Alacrity on. Yeah. He goes at like plus 124 or something at the moment. Worthy tribute. But Ergon wants to go straight Orchid. And it'll be hunting season. This is a really good Orchid game. You know, no natural Manta Radiant's carriers. Bottom tower is under and attack. not many natural Yules carriers either. Obviously, there's DP. No. But outside of that, an invoker going to go Aghanim's next. What's the cataclysm? Another thing we don't see very often. 
I guess one of the aspects that has made Exhort Invoker a little bit less appealing is that Midas is in probably the worst state it, it has been in a long time. Yes. It's just so expensive. It slows you down so much. And that was where people saying even when Midas was bad, it was still core on Invoker because it's just the experience goes so far on this hero. And the fact that you can't really get away with a Midas build, it just makes the item timings for Exhort uh, a little funky. Oh, Sineko gonna die here if they just decide that's what they want. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. He might be okay. Firefly, Ergon, he's pretty fast though. That's a haste rune. Now the TP out, the ratio. Radiant's top tower is under assault. And assault. we got a dead Sineko, over. <laughs> and they're gonna keep the pressure on the bottom lane though, even though they're gonna lose their bat rider, as that tower's getting a little bit low. Uh, the, who's Mango Tree? I assume that's the Radiant's Mango Tree. Given a lot of vision back here. Spirit are slowly adding more to their lead, though. Not in terms of experience, but in terms of gold. Radiance bottom down. Under attack. Sun strike down bottom off the mark, actually. Now it lives. Great terrorize. Now maybe the turn. Saberlight stuck deep in the tree line. Don't stun. He'll go down. And the rest of NIP, they make the escape. Although Shadow Demon, he's going to bump into Double Ergon. Damage. Double damage. Hey there, Ergs. Oh my guy didn't even get the... Yeah, there's no spell anyway, so... Ergion Era. And uh, yeah, that double damage quap is going to come out the victor. Maybe looking for more. It's only a level 6 Radiant's Sineko. middle tower is under but attack. Ergon's like, I don't know if I really want to die on tier oh, 3. Oh, he's coming back out, though. Sineko's coming. Ergon, he's going to go for it, dude. I can feel it. He's got the ult. Come on, Ergs. Come on, Ergs. Oh, yeah, he's, he's going to get brambled or something, isn't he? He's waiting for the team. Sineko, you just came back. They're lining it up. Ergon blinks in. He's trying to bait now, just focused on creeps. Oh, the Bat Rider dude. comes. Ergon. They killed the trees. Oh, poor Sineko. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. And he saw that turn. He thought about Jaya's it for a moment middle and then immediately under went. Attack. Oh, mistakes were made. Yeah, they're all here. Oh, God. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the mid lane, they're chasing down, but not going to go for the duel on the chair. They're going to let him slink on out of there on the DP. So, uh, there is still a tier one standing, so that was a pretty pretty significant dive, but I thought Malak Dyer's might actually tower go for it. Is under well, attack. They're, they're losing that tier one tower with no pressure. It's just a catapult. Yeah, they're pulling the creeps off. Malak doing a good job. There's also a blink dagger on DK, so he's got a lot of reach now in terms of initiation. Press the attack on the catapult. Man. advantage four down everyone but the invoker who was only able to contribute that sun strike and yeah part of the problem i guess i mean i guess he can contribute right click Dyer's after he's a bkb but before five. that it's very difficult to hear it's like the Radiant structures are yeah five. he's gonna go straight bkb he bought that ogre axe yeah and thinking it would be towards ags but now making the the, the rotation it kind of shows why yeah. the night even outside the laning stage, like even though this looks like the perfect Sunstrike game, like they just missed too many of them, right? They missed like two or three of the Sunstrike kills and suddenly it just doesn't look as good anymore. Yeah, I mean, that one hit. It just didn't Haste. find the kill. Yeah, it was a Jakiro. It was one of the 10 players in the game, right? Ratio jumps in, Yamich nearby, more pressure on the Saber Light. Sunstrike connects, but the damage gets split. Still this battle over vision control. Is he living? Damn, good stuff there from Malik. What a stand-in helping out, you know? I mean, I guess stand-in and stand-in together. <laughs> they're, they're brothers Dyer's in this middle one. Is under I, I kind of feel like uh, Exort should be doing more damage. I'm a little surprised. It's only 17 minutes. Well, it was split. I mean, yeah. And then she also healed after, too. So. Top, set up on the Ergon. Invoker. <laughs> As you that was a lot of damage. There you go. That's that. It was. Is that more like what you're looking for? They need him there for the Chaos Meteor. Maybe that's the big issue in these fights. Like, we're kind of talking about it like it's just Sunstrike, but the Meteor is... A couple of the key kills they found were because of the Chaos Meteor. And they are certainly light on damage. That, that is the overarching issue with this NIP draft. Even before the game started, that was my beef with it. It's like, 
How do they kill stuff? All right, you got Lasso. Now what? He did the early blink, I think, on the Centaur, unfortunately. And he just had a really rough laning stage. Because that's how the strat works, right? It's like blink, stomp, sun sunstroke. That's what we were looking for. And never quite found it. I guess now, call this it a is a good read by Spirit to put three heroes bottom lane and kind of cripple the centaur. Yeah, this is tempting though. An arcane rune on a death prop, like you really want to get some objective here. But they are rotating all their forces up to the top lane. They have a smoke here on Misha if they want. And he's going to trade it out of the side shop and say, yo, yo, Ergon, you coming? Ergon says, no, nah, I want to beat you guys smoke around. Well, here Ergon. it comes. With the orchid. Radiant are scanning. Just right in the base they wanted. Stampede. Silence. Ergon. Sunstrike will connect, but he's still alive. And they get destroyed. Charlie is dead. Era also pops. I'm sorry. Did you say I feel like the Supreme is. I feel like yeah, Supreme's like the immortal player playing with his ancient friends, and he's doing everything he can, but they're all just feeding. Radiance bottom tower. It's like, no, is guys, just, just wait for me. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's Radiance one of those games. It doesn't really matter, even though it's a bit of a Dyer's different pick and a different build and everything. I don't think it's the invoker that's the, the main Problem, issue this game. Yeah. It's just, you know, he, they've he got, can't get off the ground. They've got nothing to fight around. They're having trouble finding lasso initiations. It feels like the bat hasn't been able to find those picks. He doesn't have. Dyer's boots of travel tower or a blink dagger. Attack. Snake goes forced into Radiant's tranquil bottom boots tower is under attack. Mount. That is a poverty bat rider build if I've ever seen one. Those are those are not the items you want in the ideal world. I mean, it's okay for support bat, honestly. It's not that bad. Yeah. Dyer's but, top but still, like, tower is under good. attack. Somebody Dyer's somewhere needs a blink. Like Centaur's getting close. So that's what I mean. They just need something to fight around. So you don't have bat lasso because he's support. Centaur's core, but he got crippled. So now it's basically just Era's disruption to set up for sun strikes. And they tried up top, but it's just not enough damage. And now Charlie is not really that survivable. Like he's got the jewels, but his farm is nothing impressive. So he just gets obliterated in fights. So then when you take exorcism out of the equation, the NIP really are struggling to do damage. Well, and here it is, baby. Yeah, that's the, the turn the around. This is it. The BKB, the Blink Dagger on Centaur. They need a smoke. They need the Radiance to go into the Roche Pit, and they just got to win the fight. There's the scan. And uh, Yamash Pause has another from problem. Yami. Yeah. So right now, let's see. What was the Dire Vision? Do they see anyone? They don't see anyone, and they just can't Roche, and there's people in it. So the full assumption of NIP is they are currently Roche. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Worthy right. tribute. We're now, back. are they going to see anyone mid? All right, now they see the DP, or the DK, and the, uh... Finally, they get Malik to follow up. This is what they needed. The blink. Now, there is also a double damage on Invoker, so that, that helped a little bit. Guys, it's the turn. It's happening. Those are the kind of combos. In the pit. Do you burn the buybacks on Spirit? You got both. You got all your ultis. Nah, you can hold, dude. You got Jakiro. Uh, exorcism, though, it's a little hinky. But they can still terrorize, too. I'm surprised they're not. Seneko doing a good job bullying them, given that he doesn't have lasso and they know it. to the dark. Alright, I guess uh, I guess not. <laughs> Man, with Queen of Man ulti, yeah, I thought they were gonna terrorize and see what happened and then maybe still buy back, but they determined they even hit the O post. Up top, yeah, that one. Yeah, that's surprising. I guess they just don't care, apparently. They play it very safe. I mean, Invoker hasn't really been in these fights anyway, so him with an Aegis, how much yeah, does he it will change? be now? He is BKB and they have the blink. Like he's they're actually ready now. This we'll see. How Seneca wants these ancients. Whenever you see the Prowlers as Batrider. There's a blink on that Legion Commander. Only plus 10 at 21 minutes. Nothing too amazing, but perhaps more about the lockdown than anything else. Smoke now from Spirit into Aegis, no less. Yeah, not a, power. I mean, they don't want to smoke to like the the place they think the whole team is they're smoking for a pick but they all went north where they already own the outpost the tier two's already dead and their queen of pain's pushing the lane so i'm not sure what they're aiming for 
I guess they want the straggler, and they might find it in Seneco as he goes to push out this top lane. I'm going to say, sometimes you'll see the, these movements where a team takes Roche and they back up to farm, and it actually ends up being an all right time to smoke because they're just not grouped up. They won't get any plus damage for this, but they will get a kill on the bat. Radiance bottom and, tower. You know, is making under it attack. a 45, that's one way to Radiant break up the momentum of uh, fighting against the Aegis. They have the Ford Spirits getting the TPs in here, though. Will they make the retreat? NIP still lingering around. Only two have come back. Now the Willow ready Dyer's to join the party. Top tower is under attack. Oh, he got caught. <laughs> save your buddy, save your own. Will they go back to save him? Has the BKB, but no way to get out. NIP, they reinitiate. They want to try to save the imposter. Urkon holding the ultimate as he pump fakes. Jakiro still alive. He's saved the light. Under Dives attack. to the tower. Braccio does have the stun. Gonna save it for now. The Invoker's still alive. They kill Saberlight. Now Malik down low thanks to the Exorcism. Nano flies across. NAP doing okay for now. They're trying to save the Invoker. They've achieved that, but they need to make too many more losses. Seneca duels up. Sunstrike connects on the Ergon, but it's not enough to kill. They get a duel this time. It's on Seneca. A great fight for Spirit. They hold the tower. They don't get the Invoker, but they get several other kills that might be worth even more as they burn some of the clock on that Aegis. That was all because of Misha going to the tree line and stopping the Invoker TP. They, they were looking to completely bail out of that one, and he caught him with the Yules because he didn't BKB. And then that forces everyone to come back. That forces Supreme to BKB after as well, because once the Centaur commits under the stomp, it, there's a real chance they can win that fight. And it got really close, but things just weren't quite synced up enough. And we already know that like, for them to win team fights, it's not easy. Like the last fight they won was a two man stomp blind into the mid lane of like, okay, these guys are dead, you know? Yeah. So you need a lot of things to go right for you as NIP. A chaotic uh, fight that starts not Die. in your favor I'll is not gonna you. go very well. I'll tell you what, though, that Bat Rider got pretty crippled from that. Obviously, uh, already support status, but dies up top, fight breaks out while he's dead, runs all the way bottom, dies as soon as he gets there. That shit he was hurts. so close, though. He, he almost hit the lasso yeah. onto uh, Malik. A play worth going for, but uh, in the end, it will slow down his potential blink timing a lot. He does have the blade mail now, but only 400 gold towards the blink at 25 Invisibility. minutes. Invisibility! Even for a support bat, uh, I can't say that it feels good. Blind stomp from Saberlight. Are you feeling it? Oh, that's yeah, good. Too. Yeah. Be there. Misha trying to make it away. Drangio in the front line. Lasso damage from the Terrorize, but Drangio couldn't see the way. No, the damage is too me. much. Yamich also falls. God, I hate that. A lot of fire on the ground. Hard to tell who this is once, but uh, the Bat Rider did a significant amount there. I kind of feel like they need a pipe on the side of Spirit. I think both teams could actually use a pipe. <laughs> yeah. But I think I mean, Spirit need it more, considering the Invoker's like in the driver's seat, you know? I don't know, dude. Jakiro just did 2,174. <laughs> Yeah, but that all that did. You see, his fire was on Radiant's top of Bat Rider's fire, so under attack. Oh, it's easy to get confused, but I gotcha. Well, they are working on the pipe for Saberlight, so they'll have one soon for NIP. I like. Radiance and uh, for now, Malik's going to pick fallen. up the blade mail instead. Haste! Still a pretty sizable lead here on the side of Team Spirit. They don't seem to be in a particular hurry either. Uh, that is the Aegis Reclaimed. It's interesting to see Spirit fight so confidently into the Aegis. They went for that smoke pick off and they TP'd into that tower defense. Hey, there's a dug up bounty rune for Spirit. A little pick me up. But not intimidated by that Aegis on the Invoker at all. I would be intimidated right now. I might run out here rather. This looks kind of scary. Charlie, like one good ice path. Saberlight again, blinks it up top. Focus is the hero with the deep ball from the Invoker. Comes in the back line. Nice defense and destruction. Now goes to the BKB, drops the hammer, they kill Supreme. Terror is still sustaining them. Needs the damage is now the Bat Riders are in depth. Exchange for the DK. Fear from the Willow. They need to deal with his death clock whether they finally will. Ergon starting to pop off a little bit. And Zephyr not going to be enough. Charlie does get another kill just towards the end there. On to Yamich. A pretty yeah, got even a fight, but it does actually favor Spirit in terms of gold change. And it's about a 600 swing. 
And that, partially because of the invoker kill, that was the shutdown. That was the end of his streak. Yeah, man, 6-0-6. Six, six. He's having a hell Dyer's of a game, middle that's for tower sure. Is under and attack. the neutral items, the third round is here. Tier 3, a sliver. Dropped straight up from out there. Now the Mindbreaker 2. Mindbreaker. Yeah, we're going to talk about how good the, uh, the, the Orchid was going to be this game. The Mindbreaker now as well. We go for the Yules. So, Quap the actually hanging on to the Imp Claw. Hmm. Pretty cool, the Imp Claw. Nice. The Orb too. That's probably for Invoker. I feel like that's better than the, the Vambrace. I don't know. It really hurt. It's the same logic that's like that 6% spell lamp on Vambrace actually feels super useful now since they changed the stats. Yeah, but like he right clicks for so much. I don't know. I'm surprised he's not taking the orb. Oof. Someone should at least hold it for uh, Roaching. <laughs> Sineko up top might be dead here. Tar's got it right now. Dyer's middle tower actually. is under attack. If they want to rotate through and help him, but I guess they're not going to. Regeneration. Sineko makes it back. I don't know. Do you think it's because of that difference of melee versus range on the orb destruction? Which is just enough to make the invoker disinterested. I don't know. I just feel like I've seen uh, some invokers going for it lately when they kind of like, you know, start bouncing out like this in the late yeah. game. No, no, I mean, I can appreciate the spell lamp. You're right. It is spell lamp is very valuable now. Oh, stand, blank. Oh, yeah, he saved a lot that one. Radiant Curry has been killed. Yeah, he's gone, man. Man, that, that duel so good. Still a pretty even exchange, the two for two. No one really coming up massively on top there. Yeah, that was very even. I guess, um, no, no, both sides burned a lot of cooldowns. That really More dual damage. Coin no that. Okay, up to 64 now, so it is starting to add up. And this is the point where LC will start to transition from good lockdown to strikingly scary damage. And eventually, we'll be able to some solo kills. Centaur set up on, and here you go. Bedlam, pretty good combo, but Eric, hey! great positioning for that defensive disruption. Keeps the Centaur alive. Power of the Shadow Demon versus LC. I tell you what. Dope save. <laughs> That's it. I was dead for sure. This will do nicely. Yeah, slight problem taking the LC into the Shadow Demon, I suppose, but such is life. Yep. Man, this lead has just Dyer, been stalled out around like 6 or 8k for the longest time this game for Team Spirit. Which is not necessarily a great sign. Like, sure, you're holding the lead and everything, but you're not uh, moving it much forward. Yeah, but don't you think they scale better if it keeps like this for another 10 minutes i think There's i'd rather a... have spirits team than nips right yes i think it eventually might flip with the the bkbs wearing down i don't know I maybe guess... the the eggs dk is enough that it's still gonna be fine for them i i kind of believe yeah he's gonna go for ac first maybe they're thinking uh pick up an agonives from roche not rush it yeah very realistic chance this game for sure I Radiant guess the Exort Invoker does scale much better than what we're kind of used to with Quas Wex as we get towards the late game. He wants Lincolns. I mean, at this point, he's basically the same anyway, right? Like, he pretty much have these items. Fair, yeah. I guess I'm thinking with Exort, you usually go Midas, so you're accelerated a little more. So, yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, the only downside is he, or uh, upside, I guess, he didn't have to, like, waste money on Urn and stuff. True that. Now, both teams are going to smoke up, and they will miss each other. The wrap around from NIP might catch Ergon. He's in an interesting little spot. Oh, yeah! They're going to find him, and that's it. Oh, no! BKB, Ergon makes it back out of the
Yes. The DK gets finished off. A very messy fight. And ends up favoring Dyer's NIP. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Great Radiant's catch from top tower to start is under that attack. Off. I thought they had it. Sure. Radiant's no, top tower is caught. Dyer's bottom tower is under NIP attack. NIP starting to chase him down. Double damage on Ergon. Misha falls. Buyback there. A lot going into this from Spirit. And now, without the exorcism, NIP will sound the retreat. Uh, so what have they gotten here now as NIP? Dyer's bottom you have tower no exorcism for a minute and a half. You have cut into that lead, but does that impact your ability to Roche or defend the Roche? So Roche uh, is up. Yeah. He is. That's scary. No exorcism, no lasso. Sunstrike scouts it out, sort of. Scouts out that they're not killing Roche. Go down. So that continuing pressure on the save. I wonder, did they have the Mindbreaker too or no? I thought they might have. Curious what Dota oh, Plus yeah, thinks. 70% do. favor for Spirit. Well, that sounds about right. Oh, okay, they, have, uh, but... they got the repair kit on the Dire. That's actually pretty nice considering the situation they're in. But uh, yeah, they didn't get any of the controlling element items, unfortunately. They really need that to try and like catch Ergon. And I think Spirit just have to start these fights. Last couple engagement, they're the ones getting jumped on, and they've done a really good job reacting, minimizing their losses. But they need to make the catch. They need to all their yeah, but their initiations all single targets. Well, they're gonna jump in onto the center. <laughs> He was dead. Like, Sabrina had Blink. And Misha just saved his life. Uh, it might cost him his own. Yule, Sunstrike. Misha doing a good job here, but tough for the Shakiro. Yeah, that was a really rocky time. fight for Spirit. Well, that's, I mean, as you said, right, like you want to initiate a spirit because you feel like you're ahead in this game. But when you initiate, they, they jump onto one, but then you have the potential Yule saves, you have the initiation saves, and they tried to do a double single target initiation. But there's enough just like blowback and dispel and, you know, like invoker and just like tornado you or yeah. something. Yeah, like things just get uh, broken up as they hop in. And I think the fights where NIP are initiated are actually kind of good Radiance for Team Spirit Middle because Tower they have this like fallen. ice path just block out and then try and pick a support on the side. They've done a pretty good job saving folks. Like NIP are getting good catches, but struggling Radiance to combo them middle down. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. As we attack. saw with that Queen of Pain uh, up outside of Roche. Of course, uh, Roche 2 still standing. Radiance Aegis Chi is available. Now Radiance NIP middle looking tower at high is under ground. Attack. Not really doing much damage here. Glyphic Spires still a while on the Exorcism, about 45. It's a nice call to find this, though. Like, even though the Roche is up, they still go for this with the double catapult wave. That got them a lot of damage. Yeah, they got to stun that thing up. <laughs> Alacrity catapults is certainly a thing. That's funny because we have the press the attack ones they've been using as well, so. Yeah. Both teams jacking them up. So, uh, DP closing in on the Shivas. And Boker getting pretty close to the Lincolns. I feel like if NIP can just find that classic Invis Invoker initiation, it would actually be so nice this game. Yeah. Like Tornado into a, like a nice setup for a two or three man stomp from Saberlight, and then he starts dishing out everything, it would just be so good. This co-op is pretty huge though. I mean, we're at the point where Ergon's like an item ahead Radiant just about scanning. of most of the other cores. But I feel like he's gonna become the key focus for Spirit in these fights. Can he get off a good ult and throw out the right clicks? It's hard to, like, be super scary as Queen of Pain, though. You know what I mean? Like, she's just... 
I don't know what it is about her. I guess because her her damage is like good with the scaling with the right clicks and everything, but so much of it is just that one big sonic wave, and then after you've already shot it out, people just kind of like start targeting you down. Yeah, she'll pick up the Lincolns, and that should help a little bit. And Dyer, of course, being 25, the fear also breaks these fights up. Oh, that's huge, actually. That's really nice. That, also, that talent is one of the horn. best. Someone just pinged that. Oh, no, they have a, a gem on uh, Suneko. Or they have it on someone. I saw it earlier. DP's holding the gem. Okay. Here we go. Smoke movement. NIP looking for the catch. Suneko with the blink. Oh, no, he He goes in. He puts it. Now it's going to be the blink. So it does grab the C. But it's another good ice cap. So kill Malik first. But it might come at some losses. Horatio still holding the dragon for him. They're going to try to finish up the centaur. And they'll get him. Meatball comes in. Doesn't do that much damage on the backside. Damage. Try to use some of these two supports. He'll lose the TP out. That won't happen. And Spirit will take another one. Insanity damage. Disruption. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Look at that damage done. Radiant's yeah, middle tower has yeah, fallen. Let's go, Era, dude. Nicely done. What, what an item build, dude. Just like the perfect game attack. for the DP with that Shivas. They're just like trying to chip into it and they couldn't quite do it. Man, the gold Radiant's meant nothing in this fallen. game. Despite the big lead for Team Spirit, they almost felt like they knew they fallen. couldn't win these fights. And that's why the, the late team was so long. Radiant's and I see how just attack. this single mind to the throne. They're ignoring Roach. They, they feel their power right now and they want another kill. This is potentially a bit scary, but they'll get a catch. The LC getting turned into a non-factor. Malik brought down. No buyback available there. And now the lasso will take the throne. Willow. GG's will be called. Radiance Middle. Team Spirit. and it just jumps down in favor of NIP. Yeah.